Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how to solve the problem of thrashing using the page fault frequency. So in the previous video, we learned about what is thrashing. So thrashing is basically a situation where the CPU is busy in servicing the page faults rather than executing the actual process. So in the previous videos, we've learned what thrashing is and how we can use working set model. And in this video, we'll learn about what is page fault frequency and how we can use it to solve the problem of thrashing. So page fault frequency is a direct approach to handle thrashing that controls page fault rate. Okay. If we take a look at this example uh, diagram on the top, we have page fault rate. So in this direction and in this direction, we have the number of frames in the memory. Now, if the page fault rate falls below the lower bound threshold, then some of the frames will be removed to avoid thrashing. Some of the frames will be removed from the process. But if the page fault rate is above the upper bound threshold, which is over here, then more frames will be added to the process to avoid thrashing. So that is basically the page fault frequency method of solving the thrashing. So if the, uh, so if the page fault rate is high, then of course, we need more frames into the memory so that less number of swapping happens, right? And if the page fault rate is below this threshold, then that means we don't need that many frames into the memory. We can remove some of them. So that's how the thrashing is managed, okay? 